GMAT score, that is a score out of 800, is reported as a percentile. For example, let's take a student who scored 750. According to MBA.com, the official GMAT website, 750 corresponds to 98 percentile ranking. This implies that only 2% of people who took the GMAT did better than this student. Or in other words, this student did better than 98% of people who took the GMAT. Now let's take one more example. Let's say another student scored 650. According to MBA.com, 650 corresponds to 75 percentile ranking. This implies that 25% of people who took the GMAT did better than this student, or in other words, this student did better than 75% of people who took the GMAT. Next, let's take a look at quant and verbal scores that compose this overall score of 800. We will take two scores, Q40 and Q50. Now Q40 corresponds to 41 percentile ranking, that is, this student did better than only 41% of students who took the exam. On the other hand, Q50 corresponds to 86 percentile ranking, that is, this student did better than 86% of people who took the exam. Now let's take up verbal scores to see similar comparison. We will take two scores, V30 and V40. V30 corresponds to 59 percentile ranking, that is this student did better than 59% of people who took the exam. Likewise, V40 corresponds to 91 percentile ranking, that is this student did better than 91% of people who took the exam. Now see the obvious difference between Q40 and V40. A score of 40 on quant was a below average score, that is this student performed better than only 41% of people. But a score of 40 on verbal is a good score. This student performed better than 91% of people who took the exam. We hope you now have a good understanding of what percentiles mean in the context of GMAT score.